She is the author of the brand new cookbook, I love it by the way, American Cookie, which is a sequel to her smash hit American Cake. And today, she is here baking the classic black and white cookies. Please welcome back to our home, Ann Burns. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we know that Robert loves ice cream. He also loves cookies. Wow. So he stuck around to taste your black and white cookies. And Try not to dive in. <laughs> no, please, go ahead. Oh, that's all we need. We're all time now. Ellie and Ken aren't shy. They're going to no, get right in there. <laughs> so your new book celebrates cookies of every variety. So yes. having said that, how many cookies did you have to test and taste along the way? How many recipes did you research? Oh, definitely hundreds. hundreds. I mean, there are more than 100 recipes in the book, so I mean, to test them all, it took a couple of times and to find the best ones. And they really range from snickerdoodles to oatmeal to, you know, chocolate brownie cookies uh, to really margarites, really old recipes and, and new as well. Well, you know, we do a lot of shows here, so you can come back and do a cookie Sounds recipe great. for every single show. We are okay with that. Sounds great. So we're going to start today with your classic uh, black and white cookie. Yeah. So yeah. it starts with creaming the butter, the sugar, right. vanilla. Well, you cream the butter and the sugar, okay. and then you add your eggs, and then add the flavoring. And that's kind of the wet ingredients, okay. you know, in cookie making. So and I love that done. you're doing it by hand, too. It's fun to do it by hand. Yeah. And then we're going to add dry ingredients, which is flour, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Okay. And we always, in baking, you tend to add your dry ingredients first okay. um, to kind of get it going, and then alternate that with your liquid, which is milk. In this case, whole milk. You know, okay. it's, it's cookies. You want to make right, them. exactly. It's baking. You got to make them nice. So, okay, your first book, American Cookies. Your second book, American, American Cake. First book, American Cake. American second Cake. Book. Second book, American Cookies. Uh -huh. So the question is, yeah. is this a cookie or is this a cake? This is both. <laughs> it really is both, cake. yeah. It's so light and fluffy. Like, yeah. 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 Well, that's the cake flour, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, but the first cookies in America were really cakes. And they, they were? were? Uh huh, they were little cakes. The word cookie came with the Dutch. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, so we call, I mean, the British, Germans, I mean, it was all really a cake. It just happened to be, was it a big cake or was it, it a was little cake? It was just small, cake? like a bite-sized cake. Just, yeah. So you would use cake flour for this then? You wouldn't use a regular flour? Uh, I like cake flour because I found in testing this recipe that I wanted it to be really delicate in flavor and texture. Okay. And so I found that cake flour was lighter and it's lower in gluten. So it makes a better, makes this kind of a better cookie. Is so cake flour just more finely... Process? It, it is, it's and it has a little cornstarch in it, too. Oh. So if you didn't have cake flour, you could use regular flour you with cornstarch. You could use regular flour. It's just not going to be as tender. Okay. And I think that's what I love about making black and white cookies yourself, is that you can make a better one <laughs> than where than, than what you would get in a deli. It's true. <laughs> I, mean, I would say true. that if you make it at home, it's always better. It's I agree always with better. That. So that's you know that's our dough. Okay. And, and so that comes together. Does it have to sit for any amount of time, or you just no, go straight into just making gonna, the cookies? You're going to put that. Going to blob it onto your your dish. I mean, okay. on your cookie sheet, and I then. Have to watch. Like I'm just really Listen, really I've tasted a few black and white cookies in my day. Right. And clearly, I haven't really tasted one because this is so good. I mean, it's, oh, it's everything that you're saying. And you said that the flour that you're using is a little lower in gluten. It is definitely what that right translates for you. to me is more cookies. More cookies. Because I can have more cookies. Yeah. So yeah. How, yeah. how do you make them the perfect round shape? Well, I think it's really, you know, your dough, this is nice soft dough, and you really don't have to do too much, but you're just okay. using a spoon. That's it, and they spread of, out on their own? Mm -hmm, they spread out oh, on their good. own when they bake. Uh, you know, and that's that's what I love about, you know, testing recipes over and over and over and getting it right. <laughs> you and then get the, to eat them. That's right, and then these go into the 350 oven. For how long? For about 11 to 13 minutes, but you want them to be blonde in color and not brown. Okay. Yeah, and then, um, this because is you want them still soft. So when they come out, you know, you can kind of press them a little bit. Oh, they're and perfect. Then, yeah, they're perfect. And you don't want to ice them until they've cooled. Good trick. That's right. Yeah, because That's then right. they start to, okay, so in our sure. vanilla icing, what do we have yeah. in here? So this is just powdered sugar and water. All right. So it's, you know, I mean, yes, it would be better with cream or whatever, but this is, this is sheer decoration. So is this the classic recipe? Yes, this is the classic recipe. Can you get one with double frosting? <laughs> I mean, we can make one I'm for you. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. I'm kind, of a, it's I'm, kind of a, I'm kind of a frosting guy. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so when you frost these, you actually frost the white side and you let it sit for 30 minutes and and then you go back and frost oh, the, the dark right. chocolate side. Do Why that. is that? Why don't you do them together? So they don't merge and so they don't bleed together. 
It's like craft. It's like painting. Mm. Well, you could put I the painter's tape across in, almost, this. Painter's tape. You translate <laughs> yourself as you're putting on that ice. You could just really a lot of fun. And yeah. And actually, if you if you swirl it this way, it makes more of a half moon pattern. And a lot of people call these half moon cookies. Patterns. Okay. Uh, really? So they're black and white. So whatever. Now, so you I, the chocolate. Okay, I need to ask you this because I know, yeah. as well as a baker, you're also a bit of a historian. Uh, so where does the black and white cookie, where does that come from? Because it's been around. It has been around. It is definitely an East Coast cookie. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. not every right. deli. Yeah. The ones I've yeah. had have been in New York. So. Yeah, I'm from the East Coast, and my memory of eating this takes me back because I remember with my mom going yeah. to the local little deli and yeah. getting mm -hmm. these. Yes, this it's, is. I didn't know it was an East Coast thing. It oh, is yeah. New York, okay. Brooklyn, uh, Jewish delis. Yeah. Really? Jewish immigrants brought the cookie to the U.S. Really? With them. Yep. Oh, look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Really I nice. could come work for you if you'd like. Okay, Very meditative process. Right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. But you know, these are still made. They're originally from Germany. And okay. so um, the, the cookie is still baked today in Germany. It's called an Americana. Oh, interesting. But it's not, doesn't have the black and the white frosting. It just has the white, but it has lemon oh. in it. Lemon oh, in it. that yeah. sounds yeah. And I love yeah. we've, we've lost Debbie at this, this point. This is she's, fun. She's gone now. <laughs> she's really, in the world of ice and the cookies. <laughs> It's very calming. It's no, no, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Yep. yep. Excellent. Right. You gonna have a little taste? Yeah. I, I think. And you should. know the dark. This has you can the darker the cocoa uh, you use, like yeah. a Dutch processed cocoa, sure. the darker your um your ice. That's oh, oh, that's oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Give it a double. Give it a yeah. double. Double ice. Okay. Extra ice. Oh, wow. wow. Good job. Fantastic. You, you guys you have get a bite. in here, Anne. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much uh, for oh, this. So thank you for coming and sharing your. I don't know which side you first. Vanilla or chocolate? I'm going to go half and half. Okay, let's go right, right down the middle. Yeah, right oh, right the middle. That's where I went. There you go. All right, for more information, oh. visit Anne online at at Anne Byrne. Uh, this recipe, of course, also available at HallmarkChannel.com. Wow.